David Warburton. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, I know many of my constituents will uh, have been very pleased to hear about the targets for broadband uh, uh, phase one and indeed for phase two. But though those constituents are a loyal and a robust bunch, I don't think they'll be placing any bets on seeing those targets met in Somerset. Uh, the people of Somerton and Froome are not only noble in reason, but also um, infinite in their many faculties. And their fingers are right now poised over innumerable mice waiting to start an avalanche of innovative businesses and new ventures. But they can't because, uh, depending on who you believe, my constituency rejoices in uh, being either the 10th or the 14th worst connected constituency in the country. And, um, and BT and connecting Devon and Somerset uh, have so far completely refused at the fence of phase two. So, the government's recognition of the importance of rural broadband, plus the possible consideration of the uh, universal service obligation are both extremely welcome, uh, particularly alongside the planned uh, wider physical infrastructure investment into the southwest. But we've seen some extraordinary anomalies so far. In the planned upgrade of Wincanton, for example, uh, while much of the town will see improved connectivity, the business park, the economic heart of the town, uh, has been overlooked. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, this is one example of many. And I have spoken to a number of businesses who feel they may even need to move their businesses outside Somerset in order to remain viable. And moving from Somerset is, of course, a dreadful prospect for anyone yeah, to yeah, contemplate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this dismal digital disconnectivity doesn't only affect businesses, but it also contributes to the exodus of young people from Somerton and Froome. I've highlighted before that three quarters of young people leave Somerset um, uh, after their education. How can we persuade them to stay in the West Country if it isn't so, it, and, and, and make it somewhere to achieve their dreams unless we provide the tools in which they can render those dreams in their full digital glory? Yeah. <laughs> and the negative effects of inadequate broadband can only grow exponentially worse. Over the last few years, Madam Deputy Speaker, we've also seen the bursting forward of the so called sharing economy. There are community projects in my constituency totally dependent on online coordination and organisation. Uh, tremendous uh, organisations such as Froome's excellent and very famous Electric Car Club, which harness the natural generosity of spirits of Somerset. It's arguably sad, but true. Nothing has greater potential to stimulate today's rural economy than rural broadband. And it will be dire for our local economy if the our entrepreneurial zeal remains stuck in the 1990s while our neighbours disappear into the 21st century horizon. Properly managed, a comprehensive broadband rollout can with one leap act literally as a fibrous ligament, <laughs> binding together businesses, charities, communities and people, binding them not only to other parts of Britain, but also to each other and the rest of the world. So I very much welcome them the motion before the House this afternoon, a not spot summit would certainly be an invaluable step forward. And combined with the physical infrastructure investment that's being provided by the government, those fibrous ligaments can be soon grow flesh, and bit by bit they can become, become muscular tendons, perfectly placed to propel the rural economy into the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>